Hiya Sarah, how are you doing? We're going to do a bit of an experiment. Now it's important for the people at home to know that uh, we haven't set anything up, I haven't asked you to pick a number, it's a genuine choice of number and you can start from either end you want. Is that that all fair? Have you ever seen ESP symbols before? I'll quickly show you what they are. We've got five different coloured ESP symbols and five different shapes. The first one is a green circle, then we've got a blue cross, we've got some yellow wavy lines, We've got a red square and we've got a black star, okay? Now, in a second, what's going to happen, you're going to pick one of those shapes. But I don't want you to pick it by looking at the shapes or the colours because you might pick your favourite colour or your favourite shape. I'll also tell you that there's something printed on the back of these cards and one of them is printed differently from the rest. But I'm hoping that you're going to pick the odd one out. Now, rather than you pick the colour that you want, you're going to pick a number higher than 10. Now, I want you to pick a number higher than 10 because if you pick a number lower than 5, for instance, and look at these, you might know roughly where you're going to end up. And I want it to seem random. I want you to not know where you're going to end up and for me to not know where you're going to end up. And then you're going to count from one end to all the other end until you run out of numbers. So you're going to count from one end along. When you get the end, you're going to bounce back until you run out of numbers. So name any number that you like higher than 10. 12, and which end would you like to start from? It's a free choice, this end or this end? This end. This end, so put your finger on, start counting one, two, three, all the way along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And you've ended right here on the blue cross. Now, would you say that's fair? Now, let's be totally honest about this. If you'd picked number 11, you would have ended up here. If you'd picked number 10, you would have been ended up there. 13 here, so it was a free choice. And not only that, as I told you, you're gonna start from either end. If you'd started from the other end, which you could have, let's see what would have happened. So if you start this end, it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You would have stopped on the square. Now I know what you're thinking, when you go home tonight, you might think, oh, I wish I'd started from the other end and I wish I'd ended up on the square. So Sarah, I'm gonna give you the chance to change your mind. Stick with the cross or change to the square. You're gonna go for the cross. Perfect, I'm really glad. The pressure's off because that means that you've picked the odd one out. There's, that's the only blue cross out of all of those. You don't look impressed, Sarah, right? But what about if I told you that I said there was something printed on the other side? See, if I show you the other side of this one, you'll notice that there's no blue cross printed on this one. There's no blue cross here, right? If I turn this one over, you'll notice that there's no blue cross on here. If I turn this one over, you'll notice that there's no blue cross there. And if I turn this one over, you'll notice that there's no blue cross on there. Now that I've turned them all over, you notice that they're all circles. But this one is the only one that's the odd one out. If you turn it over, you'll notice, like I said, this one's the odd one out. It's the only one that has a cross printed on both sides. This is Smart ASP, a fantastic ESP routine with different coloured ESP symbols. The cards are 100% plastic, it's 100% examinable and 100% self-working. Every choice the spectator makes is really a free choice and their own choice. This is Smart ASP by Matt Smart.